Hey guys, uh, so rain, shine, or snow, the eBay items have to go and the shipping has to be taken care of. So, uh, as I said in my previous videos, my wife and I have been shipping quite a few items here during the holiday season. We were actually doing that during the summer. Isn't that crazy? Uh, a lot of people are reporting slow sales uh, during the summer, during the, uh, the fall. Uh, not in the fall, uh, we were hit by slower sales, but we were shipping consistently. There was only one day since uh, that I can remember since uh the end of june because uh we started um seriously selling on on ebay i mean by seriously selling i mean we took our business seriously finally and we um decided to go out there and source and learn more about what we have to find to be able to get it out there and um finding people or things that people are looking for and um having repeat buys of, of the same items if possible if not new items and that takes a little bit of time uh but it's, it's possible uh, you can do it now, many people go and do this online without even leaving their houses, um, and that's, that's one thing. They can either do drop shipping or they can just do uh, retail arbitrage online. Now, we prefer to do it a little bit differently. Um, I call this my hybrid eBay sourcing system, and the uh, reason I call it hybrid is because we source from uh, different uh, ways, and um, we, we still go to yard sales, we still go to Goodwill or to other thrift stores as well. Uh, we look online for deals, uh, but we don't shop for major department stores online. Uh, we can use Goodwill online. That's a good source that we like to use, or Facebook, or uh, even Craigslist. Now, uh, as far as other things that we do, uh, we, we find uh, bargains at stores, and we have bargain stores on top of that to where we can get up to 90% off. And we do buy pallets, uh, and pallets is a really good source of items. I'll be creating a video here pretty soon of some of the newer things we got from pallets because we had to replenish um, big time from <laughs> all the sales we made. Uh, I mean, seriously, um, we've been selling anywhere from 10 to 20 items a day, if not more. If you can see here, my car is full and it's Saturday morning. Um, I've been doing this all week, and uh, whenever I deliver items, during the week, I do it uh, during lunchtime because this is a part-time business for me. Now, my wife does this full-time. She's a stay-at-home mom. Mom, mom. <laughs> so um, it looks like uh, my English needs a little bit of work, but I, I know that my first language was French. Um, I was born in Canada and then moved to the U.S. Uh, yeah, I've been here quite a few years, but um, uh, it's another thing. You know, just like uh, uh, eBay, I was doing eBay for um, well, I was on eBay for over 17 years. And um, it took me almost 17 years to uh, figure out that it could be a really good source of income. Yes, I did see other people out there advertising that they were making money. But it wasn't until um, we uh, actually it was uh, kind of luck. We were going to uh, drop off my stepdaughter um, up in the mountains of uh, North Carolina. And um, we happened to be going by a yard sale. And... Uh, the person having the yard sale had things that were discounted like crazy prices. He had cell phone accessories, batteries for a dollar. He had remote control cars for five to ten dollars, and um, lawnmowers uh, for fifty dollars. He had weed eaters uh, priced of twenty-five to fifty dollars. And uh, we asked how he's getting all these deals, and he said, "Well, I have a warehouse, and um, if you want, you can come by and visit it." So I didn't really think much of it. Um, however, the following week, we got to go and pick up my stepdaughter uh, again. So we decided to stop at this warehouse. And um, it was what changed everything for us. Now, it's not the only source that we have. Um, like I said, I call this a hybrid system. And I think it works for us. It may not work for everybody. Now, some people just like to do one source, uh, one type of sourcing. Um, and you know, it could be just thrifting. Uh, and thrifting could be going to yard sales and uh, looking online for uh, deals like on Craigslist or Facebook yard sales, uh, finding used items, and uh, also going to uh, uh, thrift stores, right? So uh, for us, um, we found that the business model that worked was a little bit of uh, mixing things up. Um, and that started also kind of by chance, as um, if you've seen some of my other videos, I talked about it as well. But uh, we were going through Walmart. That was the beginning of this year. And we found uh, a lot of fishing and hunting items on sale. And uh, we looked at it. And we didn't know much about eBay or how things worked. And um, we decided to pick up a few of those items. Well, I picked up some little fishing uh, jars of fishing paste for $0.25 cents a piece. 
and um, those things sold anywhere around five dollars or more and my wife had an idea of trying to bundle them so I sell them as a lot a six and we listed them on eBay within a couple days they sold so we went back and picked up more I think I picked up like over a hundred jars and we were able to sell them all out in less than two weeks but in addition to that we also found some uh, hunting items and additional fishing items and um, listed those I know there's a lot of and does but um, anyways we listed those on eBay and it's all fairly quick so he said okay well that's good and we decided to check out the different Walmarts around town to see if they have sales uh, however we found out that uh, just because one Walmart's having a sale doesn't mean that the other Walmart is having the same sale or having any sales at all so Walmart has a certain way of discounting items because they have to restock their shelves and that's a different story in itself I could probably create a video for that as well and if it's something you're interested in be sure to leave it down in the comments I can talk about that in a different video so anyway so that kind of opened up our eyes of uh, going to uh, retail stores and looking for deals well since uh, we've looked at other stores as well found out that we can find the same kind of deals and not just from regular store uh, retail stores but some of the there are some major brand um, uh, what do you call uh, uh, liquidation type stores such as Ross or Marshalls that's probably even more than that uh, this is on the on the East Coast that uh, have discounted items that are new their shelf pulls from other stores and they're putting it on their shelves at a much lower price now when we combine that along with our uh, pallet uh, sourcing and going to buy used items or new items at thrift stores and yard sales now really that that's really uh, setting up a candle in the fire to where we have a source of items that's almost unlimited and if we decided to go and look online like other people are doing as well that could even uh, spread the fire <laughs> more now I know uh, people are like talking about spreading fires currently because there's a lot of damage going on in California and I, I really uh, I pray for those people especially I lived in California for almost 16 years of my life I uh, when I moved from Canada I moved to the uh, Lodi Davis area I also lived in Sacramento and I uh, went to high school in, in uh, Davis California for two years in Sacramento for two years El Camino High School alumni all right guys if you watch this video and I still have some good friends uh, in San Diego but uh, my heart goes out to those people who are dealing with those uh, fires it's really devastating and they're losing uh, their homes so guys um, again thanks for watching this video I, I just hope to bring some kind of uh, um, I guess it would say help to those who are struggling with their eBay business or just thinking on down the, down the sideline thing to see maybe eBay could be the right thing for them so um, but uh, as I said uh, rain shine or snow you have to make sure your items go out and they're delivered and um, one thing you have to get used to uh, having an eBay business is that it is a business and you have to take it seriously and if you don't do that uh, eBay would also um, not take you seriously and there, there's something called a top-rated seller which can give you some uh, great advantages to be able to reach that you have to be able to go by certain uh, guidelines so to, uh, so to speak to be able to ship out your items on time and it's not that hard to get there I think it's something around uh, being able to ship out um, items uh, having less than 3% defect on shipping items late within 12 months and uh, you have to sell so many items and so on but you get discounts on shipping you get also um, your items get seen I think I think they get seen more to other people that could that could be just um, my perception because um, I do know that other people having new stores if they have the right item people are going to be looking for the items they're going to be seen regardless and that you don't really need to have an eBay store for your items to be seen because I know some people are successful without an eBay store however for me it just uh, it was the right thing to do so I started a basic eBay store and within the, just uh, within a month I think it was of uh, my business uh, taking off and uh, it was in July because we started in, in June to uh, list more items uh, well in July I decided to upgrade to the next level of store now I don't have an anchor store uh, I was presented with the option to get an anchor store I think everybody was before the holidays by eBay with a discount for one month but uh, for me it's been hard to to get over a thousand items listed because uh, we're like I said we're selling 10 to 20 items a day 
and it makes it really hard for myself being uh, having a full-time job doing this part-time even with my, with my wife's and all being at home she's I had a home mom we have a baby that's eight months uh, so it's it's not the easiest thing yeah we could go out there and ask for uh, somebody else to help us out and we're, we may be looking at that see if ma maybe family can help and maybe give them some of the items we have for free or uh, you know make it worth their time so anyways I'm at the post office here and I just wanted to share that with you guys um, again if you see this video is valuable to either yourself or somebody else that you know uh, be sure to share and leave some likes some comments and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because you never know what I may be talking about next and I may have some great tips for you as an eBay buyer or an eBay seller. So guys have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.